Hi, I'm Vishal Ren. Um, in the in the previous video, I have covered the shading part of the bottle, and um, in this video, I would be covering the texturing part of the antique rum bottle. So this is the texture what I have actually used to to achieve that old uh, worn out look of the bottle. So what are the textures I have used? Uh, how uh, I could come out with that result is firstly um, I I was just looking with uh, certain images. So I've got some images. These are uh, I just. Uh, searched by keywords like smudge, glass, um, and dirt on glass. So I've got this uh, simple images here. Okay. So if you could see uh, an image adjustment, we have option called invert that makes this image uh, uh, reverse. White becomes black, black becomes white. So I've just got all these images. I took everything into one place, like uh, this uh, layer. I just put it here. This is a very small image. So I just again make it inward and uh, use multiply, and then use eraser tool. Just try it ni nicely blend them. So I could get certain images all together. These are fingerprint smudges. Uh, this is uh, when you clean bottle with some dirty cloth. The stains left behind the glass. All that image. So what I've got uh, with that composition is this. So you could see glass smudge. All that. So it's a very simple image, nothing complicated about it. And uh, if you could see in the result, in this image you have got uh, only the stains, but in this you could see some dust on the shoulder part. So how did I achieve that? I'll show you. I mean I want that information also that this is the neck and I want some dust on top of it. So what I have done is I took a simple shader, I took a Lambert and in Lambert in color I will take a 3D texture called snow. So snow uh, tool is very much suitable for it it automatically sees which faces are seeing up and which faces are not seeing up based on that the shading is done so if you get uh, I'll just choose IPR and then and, uh, so you could see the snow uh, here it only just stays on top of it I mean I could generally work on the threshold part let me stop uh, this and uh, switch off final gather yeah. and uh, threshold will generally control the placement here and you know I could plug uh, in a texture mm, uh, it can be a 3D texture or a 3 2D texture and when I do that you could get that kind of broken effect so uh, maybe I could try and uh, this texture is controlling the amount of threshold so um, as threshold is a single channel color so out alpha of that texture will be uh, con uh, used so I'm using alpha offset that should uh, sorry not this so this gives me uh, some sort of texture 
on the neck on the top of here so I could get that nice dirt layer there so uh, whatever I've done is achieved uh, through a procedural texture so I want it to be a black and white image so that I could easily use it for masking in Photoshop so this uh, result I want as map so what I do is I select the shader and the bottle and in edit convert to file texture I'll be using a size of 4096 4096 uh, JPEG convert and close so whatever uh, the result you have seen with a procedural shading is now converted into an image that and if you see this image it's this okay so now this image I, I could use in uh, the comp here the, the dirt so I'll just drag and drop there and this image will be inverted and then multiplied you could see the dirt um, in all that areas of UVs okay so <coughs> this image I'll be saving as grunge map or smudge map and uh, the image uh, here what I've got I'll make a copy and use some color correction with levels and I get this image so I just did some color correction I made this uh, stains more peculiar more uh, it's more coming out strongly so I want that so I'll save this as a reflection map that is what uh, uh, naming uh, your shaders is very important because when you have too many shaders in it uh, it can generally lead to confusion so name your shaders it's a good habit so uh, in color I'll bring this file node which is grunge map 1 so what you're making is the color which is in black that is uh, staying uh, opaque and w which is white it's staying transparent the index of refraction value I want 1.55 and uh, in reflection I'll use the reflection map which is a little bit more uh, contrast uh, we'll be look, uh, controlling this reflectivity also I see I felt that the reflections are too high so let me keep a reflectivity of uh, some point 0.4 here or maybe point 0.35 just very low reflections uh, and in color in diffuse I'll be taking a file which is a dirt map uh, just a uh, simple dirt so you could see that dirt texture on top of it this is very much procedural uh, type of texturing I'm not going into what 
texture I have to put into it. I just using some images and try to uh, clear the concept or just try to let you know the concept how this uh, dirt glass can be uh, achieved with the help of simple uh, maps and their connections. So this is what I've got and uh, I just uh, try to use this of uh, dirt texture in standard bump. Uh, I, I just want a little bit of roughness in the uh, glass so I'm using this bump node here and uh, very less amount of bump I mean very subtle very minute so let's render Uh, I could see uh, there is some issue with the uh, image format I, I mean the color space what I have to pick and the amount of bump as well so I'm going to reduce this uh, bump value to 0 0.005 I just want very subtle amount of bump there and uh, in diffuse uh, I've taken this image and this is uh, default input profile so I just want it to be sRGB so I'm telling this is sRGB convert into linear sRGB because I told uh, here that I'm going to give you linear sRGB so we'll go for another render with reduced amount of bump and uh, color profile changed Okay, lastly I just want to do one more change here uh, that is <coughs> I, I got a, a decent bump here I could see some r a slight roughness in it, in this bottle I've used this uh, grunge map uh, this black part I just want it to be little bit more bright so I'm using curves color correction tool and increase this uh, brightness in the darker region so kind of I'm making this way so what this generally does is it makes uh, the dirt region little bit more transparent The bump amount I just wanted to little bit raise it up. So let's uh, have a render again. So you could see uh, the amount of uh, dirt what we have got right now is little bit lesser than uh, the previous one and even uh, I would like to just work on the amount of saturation levels here I could see that is way too much so so I generally stick somewhere here and just get some uh, result there and also I could generally change the interpolation to exponential down so that it would be little bit more restricted to the edges 
and you get nice bottle uh, render there. Yeah, now the colors are more subtle and uh, they have got the tint as well. So tint is also quite believable and this is what uh, generally uh, bottle shading here and um, if you want glass smudges you could also try to work on the glossiness part here uh, by just connecting a map into it so generally when you uh, want uh, less glossiness generally smudges finger smudges and all if you want on your uh, model just plug it a uh, map into the glossiness and it should uh, work basically so a simple black and white map would help more glossiness you want uh, it should be in white color uh, you don't want the glossiness there I mean where the fingerprints and smudges there I would suggest uh, a black color so it should be a black and white image which can be plugged into this and you get the fantastic results there and uh, this is uh, it for this particular session uh, thank you very much